What's good, y'all? Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? We're back, baby. Premier League table for this upcoming year. So we are going to react to it. Looking forward to it. Hey, I didn't do this last year, so I am am looking forward to doing this. Let's just, just give give you guys my overall thoughts on which which what what each team is going to finish. My top four is pretty. I already know what my top four is. But everything else, man, it may be, it may be a little toss up. But we are gonna start from number twenty. So, but before the video starts, you guys go don't forget to hit the like and sub button. Also, let me know in the comment section which team are you guys supporting this year and how you guys feeling going to the new season. But without further ado, let's go and get into it. Starting at number twenty, I got um uh, got Watford. Yeah, I I do got Watford. Uh, I do. I, I think Troy Deeney's still there. Sar still there. I think Greg Foster too. Uh, I'm not really sure about the business that they did this summer. Uh, I haven't really heard anything about the business that 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 they have done this summer. So, and it, it is kind of hard. I know I didn't know Walford was in the Premier League was in the Premier League like two years ago, but then because I do they did beat Liverpool like three at home and stuff like that. But I don't know if that's really the same team. They did lose some players as well. So I got Watford at number 20. Not really expecting too much from Watford. 19, I got. That's tough. I do want to say Norwich or Brentford. I'll probably say Norwich. But only I, I will say Norwich just because. Actually, no. That's not usually Norwich. I'll probably say Brentford. The reason I say Brentford is because they did get, they did get promoted. And I didn't, they, they did sign a couple of players. Like another the big name guy, uh, Tony, the striker. Should have a hell of a year, hopefully. We will see. But besides that, I'm not really too high on Brentford. I, don't, I haven't really really seen him play, do too much. So, got Brentford at 19. I'm not really expecting too much about Brentford. I think you know, they have spent some money. But I'm not really expecting too much from Brentford. So, next we have... I was gonna say Brighton just because Brighton almost did get relegated last year, but we're not gonna put that yet. I'm going to go with Norwich. I do want to put Brighton right there. I do want to put Brighton right there, but I am gonna go with Norwich. So basically, I got the, the three teams that came up to get sent back down. <laughs> I'm not really expecting any of these teams to really stay up. Uh, Norwich, they, they asked for some money though. So I wasn't. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't really good on Norwich. I'm not really going to go with Norwich City. Uh, this is tough. This is hard. I would say Newcastle. And the reason I say Newcastle because they haven't done shit. Like I watch them play. I mean, I actually do like watching. I, I actually do like Newcastle. I'm not a fan or supporter. I just like watching them. I also do got Alan Saint Maxim, the big name guy. Miguel Almiron. Uh, LaSalle's, but that, I don't think they really brought anybody in, so it's kind of the same team as last year. Uh, they don't really play great, too. I do I, I, I did watch a couple games. They don't really excite me at all, except for when St. Maxim is just charging at somebody every time he has a ball. Um, so, yeah, my high on Newcastle. So, we got Walford, Brentford, Newcastle. That's the bomb three. Uh, just let me have Newcastle. 17th. I got Norwich. I do think Norwich is going to be above Newcastle. I, I will say Norwich because they asked me some money. I think they brought in Josh, Josh Sargent from Winter Berman, U.S. International. I think they got somebody else from uh, uh, Winter Berman, too, in Germany. Rashishka, Rashishka, I think. That's Mayu, I think they brought in. But my OGC, nice. nice uh, I like some other small deals, but. It's gonna be interesting to see how Norwich is compared to the year they was in their prem. Because the year they was in their prem, it was absolutely dog shit. It was absolutely dog shit the year they, they was in their prem. So I'm not really looking. I'm not really too high. But hopefully, since they did bring in some players, they should have a better, better experience in the prem. So I, I do expect them to just survive. Uh, 16th, I got Burnley. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> I got Burnley, and the reason I say Burnley because they 
you know, Burnley plays that, you know, 4 4 2. Uh, Chris Wood, Ashley Barnes, Vidra, whoever's up front, long ball. They don't excite me at all. I do like the white McNeil, the left mid, but besides that, they don't really excite me at all. Um, just like Newcastle, they don't really excite me at all. Um, and Burnley just plays physical. Like, you kind of know what you're going to expect going against Burnley, but they just don't really excite me at all. So, I got Burnley at 16, 15. I got Crystal Palace. I do have Crystal Palace. Actually, I will, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna say Brighton at 15. I do got Brighton at 15. Uh, I do like the way Brighton is. I do like the way Brighton is played though. They did got Basuma, uh, Mape, Trossard. They did just sell Benoit to Arsenal, so that's some money. Um, can't miss it. Marsh, but you know the manager Graham Potter. I, I do kind of like the way that, that they do play. They really should have beaten us last year, and the first they, they should be Manchester United early on in the season last year. But I just I just think talent wise, you know the way that they play, it kind of does hurt them because unless we get exposed in the back and all that. So not really. I am thinking Bryce could be you know just you know the bottom fifteenth, not really too high. 14th, baby. 14th, we have. I want to say Crystal Palace. Uh, yeah, Crystal Palace. 14th. Uh, big man Zaha. Big man Zaha. I was a big, big man Zaha. Kind of the main guy on Crystal Palace. Wherever, wherever he goes, you know, that's that's not for their carry. I do like Eze too, but I think he's hurt. They still have Benteke. They still. Um, I think they lost somebody, but I think they did add a, a player or two. Oh, Anderson from Fulham, Joachim Anderson. So it helped him out in the back. I think Tompkins is still there. Gaeta, the goalkeeper, is pretty solid. Um, you know, Crystal Palace, you know, they're just, they're always in this area. They're always in this little range. So we'll see. Hopefully Zaha, you know, balls out from this year again. And hopefully he does get his move. I think. He is going to up there in age, so that move may not honestly come. But we will see. Next, 13th, we have Southampton. Southampton, uh, they are known to get beat bad every year. Every year, they're bound to have that one game which they get their ass beat. Um, I think Leicester City, they lost like, like I think Leicester put like eight or nine goals past them. I think then just this past year, Manchester United just put like eight, nine goals past them. So, hey, <laughs> but I do like some players off Southampton. Obviously, James Ward Prowse, big fan of him. I think Vestigar is leaving to go to Leicester City. So, that'll help Leicester. Um, Shea Adams. Remember, I think Danny Ings left too. So, hope maybe Shea Adams can finally step up. But besides that, I mean, Southampton, you kind of know what you are going to say. So, I think they're tough. Southampton are a tough team. But I just see him in that in that range. Twelfth, we have I'm going with Wolves. I'm going with Wolves. Uh, Wolves are tough, man. Wolves are a really hard team. The deal is yada. Hopefully, Ruben Neves does leave too. Come on, Manchester United. Hopefully, he does, but. I think I do have him up because of just a Raul, Raul Jimenez should be back for them. Uh, scary, scary injury he had. I think I think it was against Arsenal, but scary, scary injury he had. Looking forward to see Raul Jimenez back. And that is still there. Bowley, Cody, Adama Traore. You can't forget about Adama Traore. But they did lose uh, the, the manager, uh, Santos, Nuno Santos, I think, to Spurs. So you may see a different type of Wolves and how they play and all that, but... Besides that, man, I'm not. If it's just five back, yeah. Next, we have. Gonna go with Leeds. I will go with with Leeds United. Uh, Leeds play good. Leeds are a really entertaining team. Obviously led by Patrick Bamford, Calvin Phillips, Rodrigo, Diego Lorente in the back, Rafina. They got some pretty pretty solid solid players. 
Manchester United do play on first game of the season. Looking forward to that. I think I think on Saturday. Looking forward to that. Uh, it's really gonna be my first time of experiencing the the hatred between both these two teams. Last year we didn't. I didn't really experience it because it was like you know, COVID and all that. So no fans was really there. So the atmosphere, but. I mean, we beat in what six two last year, and what a performance that was at home. But we really, really looking forward to it. Look forward to the first game, but Leeds are gonna be a tough match. I think last year Leeds either won or lost. They didn't really draw games. They, they either won games or, or they lost games. And looking forward to see what Leeds does. I think they add Gino Gino Firpo to, to your left back because Alioski left. Alioski left. So looking forward to that tenth. Tenth. I got Arsenal. <laughs> I got Arsenal. I don't want to say Arsenal. I don't want to say Arsenal. But I don't want to say Arsenal. I'm going to say Everton. I'm going to say Everton is going to come in 10th. Uh, Calvin, Calvin Lewin, Carlison, here, Amina in the back, James Coleman. I think they added Damari Gray. New manager, Rafa Benitez, who managed Liverpool as well. So that's kind of going to be a tad bit weird. But I do got Everton in 10th. Um, maybe we do see something different. Maybe we do see, you know, Everton, maybe. I just don't really see it. I just always see them just right here, always in the middle. Um, I just don't see it with them. But maybe, maybe. They changed my mind. But big fan of Cabot Lewin and Carlson. So I don't really see him. I don't really see them having problems with scoring goals, but but I do expect the midfield to be pretty good. The Corey Allen and all that, Tom Davies. So we'll see. I think it was what ninth. I got West Ham. I don't expect West Ham to make that same top four push they had last year. I think last year was just a one-off thing, especially when they add Jesse Lingard from Manchester United. How great he was. I just don't expect West Ham to make that same stride. Obviously, Declan Rice is the main man. Mikel Antonio. Um, Mark, I, th I think Noble is still there. Mark Noble is still there. Pablo Fornaus. Uh, Barama. Bowen. They got some really, really solid players. I, but I just don't really expect them to make that same push at last year for that top four. I may be wrong. Don't quote me. Don't judge me. But please don't judge me. But we'll see. I, I just don't really expect, expect them to make that. You know, push into the top four. Eighth. I got Arsenal. I do have Arsenal. <laughs> I do have Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal just a weird team, man. You think you have Obama Yang, Lacazette, Pepe, Saka, goals won't be your problem. And then, uh, Emily Smith, em Emily Smith Rose is going to take a bigger year than you, number 10. I back, like I said, today I've been white from Brighton. So maybe, maybe I was in the back. I think Gabriel, Gabriel's still there. Leno, Hector Bellerin, uh, Tierney. It's not a bad team if you really look at it. It's it's, it's an okay team. Jocka's in the middle. But I just don't think Arteta is really it. I just don't think Arteta is really it. So I'm not really too high on Mikel Arteta, but we'll see. I'm just not really high on Arteta. Next, I got Tottenham. You're probably wondering... Yes, I do have Aston Villa finishing. Aston Villa is going to be six. I was letting you guys know. Aston Villa is going to be six. Tottenham, ah, oh, dude. I'm not sure how Nino is going to, if Nino's is just going to bring that, you know, problematic, just native football to Spurs. Spurs, man, you got one, probably the best striker in the world, one of the best strikers in the world, Harry Kane. Hugh Ming's son, who's, who I think is world class. Lucas Mora, Bergwin, uh, and Dumbele. Holberg, they got Deli Alley. They have talent. They have talent. So you're probably asking why I have them seventh. It's just, I mean, last year they started out so good on, under Jose and then shit went left. I don't know. This team is just a weird, weird team, man. Just, I just don't know. Especially if Harry Kane does end up just leaving somehow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I don't know. Talk, I just taught him, man. I just. They're just not it for me. Tottenham are just not it for me. I do. They, they have some great, great players, but I just don't really. 
but they, they did bring Christian Romero from Atlanta, so I do like that in the back line, because Toby, out of the widow, I think he went to, like, Saudi Arabia or some shit like that, some uh, uh, Middle Eastern country, but we'll see. But I do have Tottenham 7. 6, like I said, I do got Aston Villa. I think Villa's going to be good. Yes, they, they do Jack Grealish, which I kind of am... Ah, uh, I did want to put. Ah, uh, I did. I did got Villa six. I think Villa is gonna be six. Um, uh, they brought they. I know Axel Axel Twan Zabie's there. Uh, Ollie Watkins, who was a very very surprise for me, thought he was really well last year. But it's gonna be hard losing Grealish, man. It's gonna be hard to lose, but Jack Grealish. But I do have him six. I do have them six. I'm still high. On, I'm, I'm still high on Villa. I'm still high on Villa. I think they added Buendia from Norwich too. And I think another top tier, uh, another solid player for them. But the goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez is there too. Really high on Villa. Really high on Villa. Villa. I do expect them to have a best season in West Ham Arsenal time. I just do. Fifth. It's getting fun now. I got Leicester City. I I do got Leicester. I do got Leicester City. It's hard. I do want to put Leicester in the four. I do, but I can't. I can't put Leicester fourth. Leicester plays some. Leicester are good. Leicester are City are good. Led by man Brandon Rogers, Jimmy Vardy. Leicester legend still up front. Yuri Telemans, who I'm expecting to get that big move probably soon. I'm not sure why he, he hasn't yet. James Madison, Harvey Barnes, and Didi Sayonku. Carl Pereira, they got players. Cat, uh, Casper, Mike Lowen, and goalkeeper, they got players. They always get, get, get these players cheap, sell them off, big money. Just look at Ria Morris, Conte, Harry Maguire. I do got less than fifth. I do got less than fifth getting that European uh, league spot. Fourth. I got Liverpool. I got Liverpool four. I got Liverpool four. Um, last year was weird. Yeah, I do know that they was decimated by injuries. I, I think Jordan Henderson and Fabinho were both playing center back together at one time. Even Jordan Henderson, he got hurt. Even Fabinho got hurt at one point. Van Dyke was out for a year. Joe Gomez was out for a year. They brought in two goalkeepers, I think in January, and De I think Cabbage and Phillips. I'm not sure if Phillips even played in the cabbage, cowback, whatever his fucking name is, left. Um, but the dead side, Konate, which I'm I'm really very impressed by that. Ibrahim Konate from RB Leipzig. The Chicken Van Dyke back. They still got Allison, um, Trent, Robinson. The front three still probably one, one of the top front threes in the world. Salah, Mane, Firmino. Midfield, they did, they did, lose, they did lose Genie Winaldo. So it's kind of like, like their energy, but Curry Jones, I expect him to really take step up, take that step. I just got him fourth. I just got him fourth. I'm not. Just last year, man, the amount of times they they lost like Burnley, I think. And I think at one point it wasn't like they I think like two or three games at home they wasn't scoring. Weird, weird. But um, yeah, got Liverpool fourth, third, got Manchester United. Uh, yeah. Got Manchester United third, and you're probably wondering. Yes, I don't, I don't, I, I don't really expect them to win the league. As a fan, I'm looking forward to the season, but I'm still very critical of Ollie. I'm just not really sure if he's the man to lead us to victory. Just not sure. But you know, bringing in Sancho, bringing in Veron, two world class players, that's is that's great. You know. Greenwood, Martial, Rashford, Pogba, Bruno, Ron, Sancho. Oh my gosh. Ah, my ZZ's tingling. But, looking forward to it. Like I said, I'm not really sure how it's going to happen, what's going to happen. But I do, do, I do expect him to finish third. I do expect him to finish third. I do expect him to finish third. I do want them to win the league, of course, when each 15 win the league, but. I just think third is just going to be where they are. Second, I got Chelsea. I got Chelsea. Kyrie knows number one. Man City is number one. 
Uh, I'll get to that, but I think Chelsea. I think, I think Chelsea and Seattle are really going to be competing for that top spot the whole year. Chelsea are adding big Rom. He's coming back to Chelsea. Coming to Milan. I have. I've have. I have heard it's Milan having to like sell a lot of players. I'm not really sure what that's about, but hey. Okay, did they sell Hakimi? And the European sell Lukaku. They sold Hakimi to PSG. The European sell Lukaku back to Chelsea. Chelsea got some players, man. I think Chelsea, just like Man City, two teams of a full starting eleven, which are better than a lot of teams in the Prem. I like Chelsea. Chelsea are a very, very good team. Uh, two, the way Tuchel came in after Frank Lampard left, it led them to a Champions League final over Man City. Back line, I think Kunde was going to sign, but I've been pretty quiet on that. Rudiger, who was, who's really good to me. Christensen, you got Edward Mendy, who's taking it. Take up the number one spot. Marcus Alonso, Hudson Odoi, uh, Asby, Timo Werner. I think the attack is crazy. Timo Werner, Big Rom, Havertz, Ziyech, Mason Mount. Like these guys have talent. And I can't forget about Conte, little Cuba, Tudi, Conte, and Kovacic. These guys are stacked. These guys are stacked. I keep, I kept listing off names, but these by Chelsea to really, really compete with, with Messi for their first spot. Then you guys know, number one, Manchester City, man. I think getting Jack Grealish is fucking crazy. Grealish, Mares, Jesus, Aguero, they leave to go Barcelona. KDB, who I think he's a top 10 player in the world. I think Kevin De Bruyne, man. Oh, my gosh. Kevin De Bruyne is so good. So good, KDB is. Uh, the, and it's just and Bernard Silva. I think Bernard Silva wants to leave, though. Ruben Diaz, who... Was a revelation for our back line. Him and John Stones. Report still there. Kyle Walker, Cancelo, Mendes, and Chinko, like Rodri. Like these guys have these guys are stacked at every position. Like then now I and Jack Grealish into that. I mean she's. I mean she's. Miss City. I do expect them to win it again four or five years. But yeah, that was it. Hope you guys did enjoy this Premier League prediction. Looking forward to doing this again next year. Hopefully my predictions come right. But anyway, you guys don't forget to like and sub. Comment down below. You guys thoughts and reactions to my Premier League table. And I'll see you guys later.